Hi, this is Jeff again, answering your questions about wine. You've got a question? Send it to us. Email scott at jeffronquistwines.com. If you've got anything at all about wine that you're curious about, we select your question as something we have an answer for. You may see it here on the web. Today's question is coming from Kathy. And Kathy, this one's pretty easy. Kathy's a little concerned about her consumption of sugar. So she has a question for us. She wants to know how much residual sugar is in our wine. And this is a, this is an interesting question. Because stylistically, how we produce our wines, having a, a fruit forward character, and the fact that they're aged in barrels that have a pretty good percentage of new, new barrels, which still have a lot of oak lactones and other material in the oak that will leach into the wine. Our wines often have a sweet character. They taste sweet. Almost all of our wines are above 14% alcohol. And as you get higher and higher alcohol levels in wines, the natural fermentation will spin off and create a higher alcohol or glycerol, which often is perceived as sweetness in wines. Kathy, all of our red wines are bone dry. There's not a drop of residual sugar in them. They taste sweet because of the rich character being extracted from the oak and from the fruit forward character that is there and, and gives you the, the impression of a, of a fruit. It's, it's got a, a sweetness and a brightness to the fruit. But all of the sugar has been consumed by the yeast and uh, the wines are, are, are dry. It's interesting because the smoothness of our wines, the lack of the tannin and the astringency, is often mistaken for residual sugar having been added to the wines to balance them and to smooth them. But I can guarantee you, that doesn't happen here at Runquist. The wines are bone dry. Many of my colleagues believe I'm a master of adding residual sugar in order to keep the wines perfectly sweet. I chuckle, roll my eyes, and goes, these guys, all they have to do is buy one of my wines, send it to the lab, and have it analyzed for sugar. And they'll find out exactly how much sugar is in there. Zero. So thanks for your question, Kathy. That was an easy one.